Oh, I'm going first, aren't I? <laughs> Hello, Hello, I'm James. I'm Sophie, and we're from Needy Cat Games. Uh, and today we're here at the Mantic Games HQ to have a look at The Wild Hunt, which is a new expansion for Hellboy the board game. It's quite exciting, isn't it? I'm so excited. There has to be a proviso here. We haven't actually seen this since we wrote it quite a while ago. So <laughs> This is going to be an adventure. Yeah, this is quite exciting. This was the last expansion we worked on for Hellboy. Yeah. Um, I think it's the one we're happiest with. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm so proud of this. I'm really excited to see what it yeah, is. Sophie like did most of the work on this one. Um, so for those who don't know, we designed the game as Needy Cat Games. Uh, I did kind of the most basic like, core fundamental engine of the game and you some development and things. Engine. The engine. And then Sophie did a load of work on case content. files, expansions, yeah, pure pumping out content. Yeah. Um, and yeah, this is the last one. So this is the one that we're kind of happiest with because it feels like it was the one that was most developed. It had the most interesting ideas and it pushes the system in weird ways. Well, and I think as well by this point, we'd written so many case files uh, that the that we'd got really well practiced at it. So yeah. this has been built upon all of the experience of creating everything else that was in the game. So um, yeah, I think you're right, it's the most refined. Yeah. At least that's how we feel about it. I mean, we'll have to see. Well, there's nothing refined <laughs> about giants punching things, but you know. Um, so a couple of fun facts about the Wild Hunt expansion. This is the first expansion uh, which has come out, which is based off uh, the work of an artist other than Mike Mignola, <laughs> because we had the Hellboy the Board Game uh, Darkness Calls and the BPRD archives, which were all in the big Kickstarter box, they were all based off the first few like Mignola comics. This one's a little bit later where Duncan Figredo came in and did some things. So what's quite interesting is the miniatures look a little bit different because they're based mm. on a different style, and that's really cool. Um, this is, as I've said already, this is an expansion that can that can click onto either the retail or Kickstarter version of the game. Yeah. Uh, we'll get into that in a little bit more detail. Should we stop talking and open the box up? Do it, go on, yeah. it's, it's your baby. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. So, as you'd probably come into expect, if you've got anything from Hellboy so far, I'm going to put this here and just obscure this. You'll actually notice this is the same dimensions as oh, the side of the Hellboy retail box, so it'll sit yep. on your shelving, nice and Bit happily. Bit of Kallax, that's the most it's, important thing. It's Kallax friendly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as you come to expect, what we've got is a tray of lovely minis. Uh, oh, so I can't wait. Get them out. Let's see oh. what's in there. Oh, cool, look how deep that is. There's, these are big. It needs to be deep because what we've got in there, so we've got a few miniatures. We've got Eligos, who's one of the Dukes Eligos. of Hell. He is, uh, he's a big scary monster. He Now he, in the game, as I recall, is almost unkillable. You have to kind of... Uh, you have to destroy a magic ring. Yeah, I think it's like you have to roll a BPRD icon while you're attacking him to take his ring yeah. out and then his, defense, his resilience drops way down and yep. you can actually hurt him. Uh, so he's really fun. And we've got a couple of giants. Giants, and they're massive. What's interesting is whenever you... Uh, look at things like giants and that in a game like the miniatures game you have to scale them down a little bit because if it was if they were the size they were in the comics you wouldn't get anything else in yep, the box yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but i think what's great is they really stand out as big models yeah you know? i mean they're the same kind of scaling down that the tentacles of sadu hem had in yeah. the core game yeah uh they're big enough that they look really impressive um we actually got some painted versions of these as well do you want, do you want, do you want to grab out yeah, the painted giants and Elegos? yeah look, look there's there's Painted, painted, I believe, uh, once again by Angel Giraldez, who, uh, whose name I've probably horribly mispronounced there. Uh, but yeah, how cool are these? I mean, this is just adorable. I love it. Adorable isn't the word I use, but Would you not? He's, he's amazing. I just think there's so much movement in the miniatures. Yeah. I think that's the thing that I think the sculpting has really um, reflected in the entirety of the Hellboy board game miniatures range, which is that there's just so much movement yeah. in them. They're really um, action-packed, cinematic, comic-y, you know. Yeah, exactly. And I think you can see that even more um, as we move. Shall I? I don't yeah, want to yeah, take sure. these away, but <laughs> we'll put those over there. Out the way. And I do maintain that if, if he was real and that big, he would be adorable. I'd, I'd want a little pet <laughs> You'd one. have a little pet yeah. one. Yeah. Um, so, we've so these got are members the of the Wild, Wild Hunt. Hunt. Yeah, and it's interesting because the Wild Hunt comic is um, it's kind of a story in two parts, isn't it? So yeah. uh, what we've kind of done here is we've attempted to kind of uh, get a bit of everything. Mm -hmm. So uh, you've got Elagos who comes from kind of one part of the story and then you've got the Wild Hunt stuff itself. So you've got uh, the Wild Huntsman, the Giants uh, and we'll come to the rest in a minute, which are from the other part of the story. And the game, the expansion really covers yeah, it really transcends those things. Um, there's, you know, and that was a really fun challenge from a design perspective, um, from finding reasons for them all to be together. Yeah. 
Um, so we, I think we came up with some really interesting uh, mechanics Absolutely, in terms yeah. of that, in terms of like how the wild huntsmen interact with the uh, with with you as the player, um, because some of the case files sort of turn on his head a bit, yeah, make they're, it a bit more not unpredictable. Completely... They're not always evil. They're yeah. mostly evil, but they're not a hundred percent evil all I the mean, time. Morality aside, yeah, sometimes they'll stab you, sometimes they'll stab the other guys. That's... Some, sometimes in certain things, <laughs> so it's, it's quite interesting, and that was quite an interesting thing on like how to do that mechanically. So that was quite yeah. fun. We've read um, out the painted yeah, wild yeah, yeah. as well. This one's beautiful, and I think really embodies the feeling of the wild. Hunt, Again, so. so much movement to them yeah i mean they're just there's so much uh, detail as well like you don't actually realize until you see the, the the painted one yeah how much detail is in the miniature like they've got really beautiful like facial features and there's like details all over the, their body it's really impressive yeah. so, i mean we've said it before uh, in the hellboy unboxing videos these are pvc miniatures that they, I think they kind of push what you can do with PVC. They really They're do. really, really cool. I love them. And of course, you can't not bring out Hellboy. It's my favourite. Look at this. So this is Enraged Hellboy, which is another Hellboy. Now, if you've got the Kickstarter edition of Hellboy, this will be your third Hellboy, because you yeah. have Horned Hellboy as well. Oh, uh, uh, and you've got the... Oh, Pancakes Hellboy. Pancakes Hellboy. And you've got Father Christmas Hellboy. So Christmas Hellboy was, yeah, he was he was a, a limited edition. Limited Christmas edition. Release, yeah. So this could potentially be your fourth, fifth, <laughs> fifth Hellboy? What I really like, um, this is what something you did with the rules here, is all the different Hellboys have kind of the same core basic rules mm. with a couple of tweaks. Yeah. So this one is, he's a lot angrier. Shall we try and find his card? When we get to it, yeah, shall we? Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. But basically, it's, it means if you were feeling mad, you could theoretically have a, a, a game. game with four Hellboys. You know, I mean, hey, who's to say it can't happen? <laughs> I think, I think there is one rule card in the Kickstarter version which says you shouldn't do that, but we're not, we're not going to come around your house and stop you. No, exactly. I mean, you might, if you're going to do that, I might recommend if you've got the uh, Kickstarter edition mixing in like the hardcore deck, because I yeah, think there's going to be a might, lot of punching involved. I think you might completely <laughs> destroy anything yeah. you come up against. But how cool is he? I mean, you look at the size of the blade, it just oh. looks awesome. And it, that is straight out of the comics. There's a particular panel yeah. which that completely represents. Oh, it's um, brilliant. And the, the, the painted one is just so nice as yeah. well. So, uh, uh, so that's a whole load of minis there. We've got some more minis in here. Before but we get to them... We've got, oh, what have we got here? Have we got here? Now, these, this, is like the, this is a sample. So the, I, th I think quite, you won't have the little bit of masking tape on your version. <laughs> um, but we've got new rules. Because um, we had some new rules in terms of like how outdoor tiles worked. Yeah, because a lot of this is actually set outdoors, which is a whole new thing. You know, normally so far you've been exploring like old castles or manors or shacks or whatever else. Mm -hmm. Now it is uh, there are rules for being outdoors. Yeah, and we and what we try to do as well is that rather than give you like a huge chunk of rules, most of which you won't need for most case files, is that if you choose to use these. Um, like if you decide to get, if you've not yet bought the BPRD archives, which will be released next year, um, separately to go with the retail edition, or if you've got the Kickstarter version with the BPRD archives, you can start mixing in the tiles yeah, if you want to. So what we've tried to do is put them on rules cards, so you only grab the card that's relevant to the thing you're using. It's a nice so quick that, reference. Yeah, yeah, rather than it being like a big stack of stuff that you have to so get through. So this is actually quite a dense uh, expansion from a rules point of view. There's a lot of stuff in here. Mm. So you've got rules for... Um, Outdoor sea, outdoor um, room tiles. You've got, I think, new cool new scenery, scenery pieces. pieces. Yeah. So the scenery pieces, you've got different things like there's a rock slide which behaves differently. Um, there's some cool new scenery pieces for like uh, armor, like armors on the suits of armor standing on. Yeah. Plinth You'll see all this things. when we get to it in a bit. So there's lots of cool new extra bits. Um, then you've got um, a load of new deck of doom cards. Deck of doom cards, which, which are looking amazing. You've got some amazing. which are specific to the case files in here some which are mixed into your existing uh, deck of dooms though so you can go back and add these cards in go play through your original case files and you'll have some new things happening we've also got some more uh boss uh, behavior cards no those are unexpected oh, no, threat unexpected cards, threat cards. Yeah, sorry which... those are for uh B the bprd archives well they're not they're, they're actually they're a thing so in the bprd archives case file constructor which again if you've got the retail edition that's coming don't worry um there are rules for adding these into your deck of doom and they're basically things which bring out the big bosses and big monsters and things in cool ways. 
Uh, but in here, that one of the new rules cards actually tells you how to use them, so you can use ah, them straight away. Ah, brilliant! Yeah, so if you, you want can a bit mix those in. Challenge, you, you can... As I said, I haven't actually looked through this at all since we first <laughs> wrote it. So yes, those unexpected threats can actually just be mixed in um, into your deck of, uh, into your deck of doom yeah. to increase the chances of meeting cool new bosses. So if you're using some, like if you're using one of the case files that requires one of the, like Elagos, but you want to also have a risk of a giant turning up, you can mix it in with your deck of doom. Yeah. Um, oh, and there's your enemy, your cards, enemy cards for different cards. things. Yep. So those look lovely, and, and then, then there's the boss behavior, behavior cards. Yeah. There we go. They're right at the end there. So um, yeah, there's some pretty cool uh, bosses. So that's the big cards. We've got some little cards as well. We've got some new encounters, and again, these are the same as the deck of doom in that you've got some which you are using certain case files, and some which just shuffle into your regular deck. Uh, we've got a couple of new requisition cards. So some new things you can. Uh, pick up before a case. There's something really interesting about the um, requisition cards actually is that in this game um, yeah. I introduced the concept called legendary items um, because in the wild hunt there are so many like epic things that they pick up like there's Elagos's ring um, and there's the the raven the Excalibur. crown yeah, Excalibur there's <laughs> yeah. the raven crown there's all sorts of things that are like these are like unique items that are a really big deal and you don't get that in any of the other stories well, as, as much anyway yeah. but in the wild hunt a really distinctive part of the story was that there's all these like legendary items so that's actually like a whole new sort of aspect to the requisition cards um so you can select them but they're quite expensive but there are ways of picking them yeah, up they're throughout cost the game. Four, which is not a thing we've had before no so but like you say certain like the case files specifically do have things where legendary items do come there's out. an opportunity where you could literally get at excalibur from a stone which i think is just an amazing yeah. idea so uh, even if I do say so myself um, but you've got a few things, other things like you've got uh, one of Hellboy's starting cards there which is the giant blade he never downgrades dice for having additional enemies in his area so he can just wade into huge swathes of enemies and dice them up which is I mean, look at him. Of course, he's going to do that. Yeah. Um, also, we should probably talk about Alice. We've got Alice Monaghan, yes, who's a backup Alice, agent. Alice, Alice, Alice. Oh, she's in uh, the she's next, in the next layer. But so, um, yeah, she's just a really handy um, uh, information agent. gathering yeah. backup agent. So she'll help you get your information gathering, uh, your information gathered track up, which is really handy if you're playing with like a punchy like Hellboy yeah. heavy team. Um, it was really interesting, actually, Alice, because. Um, in, in the comics, Alice is very much, um, she's a very big central character, but she's very much a supporting character for Hellboy. Yeah. And we agonized for ages over whether to make her an agent or whether to make her a backup um, agent. And the reason why we decided to make her a backup agent is because we wanted to stay true to the spirit of the comics. Um, it would have felt weird her running around with, with a submachine yeah, gun. Yeah, she would never, down that just, guys. yeah, exactly. That wasn't her character. Her <laughs> character is not, you know, hitting things with a stick yeah. um, or any, or a really big stick, um, but she's she is very much like she is in in the world hunt. She is like the emotional support of Hellboy. She's basically like the embodiment of his human side. Yeah. So it felt really weird to try and make her like a combat-based character. And we we sort of gave it a go, and then we were just like, this doesn't feel like the Alice that we know from the comics. What's really nice though is it means that, you know, she is a really thing, and she's actually, she's one of the ways you can get the legendary items. Yes. There's a chance she can, when she's uh, doing remote support, she can turn back up with yeah. an awesome legendary item. Should we look at what, what else is in here? Oh, yeah, let's um, go, let's, I'll move this out the so way. We, we, we just, we'll sit here and ramble about the game for yeah. days if we don't. <laughs> uh, so we've got another tray of things here with a load of imps who are the little guys running around mm. uh, oh. with spears and... Uh, oh. Is it swords and spears we're going to Yeah, so they've got, yeah. one's got a sword and one's got a spear, um, but there's multiples of each. So there's Alice, and there's the imps, and then here are the painted versions, which are incredible. They yeah. are just amazing. And again, Alice is so detailed. Um, it's incredible what they've managed to yeah. do with that. Uh, case file uh, cards. For a start, this is an interesting one. The case files uh, now come in Ziploc bags, mm -hmm. which is really cool. I like that a lot. Yep. Um, and what we've got is we've got th uh, four packs here. The first three, we've got three new case files, mm -hmm. which um, I think it's a, a short, medium, and a long. So you've got a nice bit of variety. It's, it's the only the second short one. I think there's only one short one in the retail box. Yes. So if you if if you like playing short games of Hellboy. Uh, you've done the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, it's Frog Hunt or something, it's uh, Hunting Party. Hunting Party. Is it, no, it's not Hunting Party, is it? It's going to bug me now. <laughs> it's going to come back to me in a minute. There's the very first like, case file we recommend you try out. 
Um, and uh, yeah, now there's another one you can use if you want to do it, do a short case file. Mm -hmm. But there's three of those. And then what you've got as well is, again, if you've got the Kickstarter edition, this is all the stuff to add into your case file constructor from the BPRD archives. If you haven't got the Kickstarter version, don't worry. Tuck these away, keep in the box, hold on to them, and whenever it happens next year and that comes out, you can just uh, mix them into yeah. your, what you've already got when you buy your BPRD uh, archives. So that'll be uh, a really nice bonus for you before you've even played anything. Yeah. So we're nearly through here. Let's see what else we've got. We've got a few little bits and pieces. Hellboy's rules card. Smooth. Yeah, I'm smooth. I'm smooth. <laughs> so uh, Hellboy's agent board. Again, he's very much the same as Hellboy from the board game with a couple of differences. He um, he loses his, his uh, taunt ability. Uh, and instead he, he has a thing where basically, instead of uh, the seen it all before rule, where he mm. can get a little bonus on investigation checks, he has the hard to ignore rule, which is whenever he makes a fight check uh, that makes, I think it's at least four damage, he just bumps to the front of the queue. So rather than having to spend action cubes to taunt, you just do it for free. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he has, go on, tell us about your favorite rule. I just Emma. love this. So it's literally called, ah! I hope I pronounced that correctly. I think that's about, yeah. Um, if people aren't saying it like that when they play the game, they're doing something wrong. <laughs> um, it's taken directly from the comics. There's literally an amazing series of panels where he's just yelling, ah, the whole time <laughs> while wielding this, this sword because he's so angry. And I was just like, well, I can't not have that. And I wrote it in to the rules being that long. And yeah. I was like, I wonder if they're going to cut it down. And they didn't. So I'm so happy about that. <laughs> um, and this is move up to two areas and each enemy you evade suffers two damage. So you're basically like running through people. Um, you stuff still suffer one uh, damage, um, but then make a fight action at the end. So you can just basically run through a load of enemies, hurt them all as you're going and then attack at the yeah. end. It does take all three of your cubes, but I think it's absolutely worth it. It's, it's the kind of thing where, because, as well, because you've got your um, uh, the big blade, which makes you good at hitting big crowd enemies, mm. it means that Enraged Hellboy is like the ultimate crowd control yeah. uh, character. He can either run and pull enemy enemies with him and then hit them all, or he can uh, use this one and just hit them on the way through and then get to whatever it is that he wants to get to. Absolutely. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we've got that. We've also got, finally, some card <gasps> This is the bit under tokens. I know this is really sad, but I'm really excited about the, co the, the card bits <laughs> they're like my favorite bits well, have a look see what you got so what we did uh, i don't if you're familiar with the comics great if not you should read them um <laughs> but what we we had a really big challenge uh deciding what settings to put in yeah. to the world hunt because we had a choice of two settings um, and there's so many cool set pieces in the world hunt it's very hard to pick which bits to do mm. so we ended up on like this weird kind of fairy other world sort of setting where they walk through um and it's a kind of mystical, mystical uh, like avalon england sort of you know that but they sort of stumble into it and you're never yeah. quite sure if it's just a misty bit of the moors or whether it's actually like a fairy world but um so this is what all of this is based on so there's this sort of weird green otherworldly kind of environment there's some of the new scenery pieces we talked about yeah. um and as you can see, there's quite different ways of using the tiles, which is quite exciting. And then on the other side, it's just loads and loads of fire. Um, <laughs> Rocks which I and just, fire. I just love it. I just yeah. love it. There's just, just so much fire. One of the All case the files is set um, fire. around, the, again, the, there's a siege in the Wild Hunt comic where um, uh, Hellboy and Alice end up interrupting a, a, a siege in a castle and it's surrounded by a lake of fire and so we've yeah totally so we just done did that. fire um there there you there is a way of getting through it because we've obviously got all the tiles that we can reuse from the corset so the whole point is that you can make really nice big maps that are surrounded by fire um yeah. and the fire has certain effects in the game and the you know you can you can go into the fire if you want to M mainly elegos tries to punt you into it which is yeah. really good fun yeah um, he's he's constantly trying he literally aims to to hit you into the fire at all times. So yeah. you're constantly trying to like get away from the edges, um, oh, which is, a, is really, it's a really fun kind of uh, way of in, using the map tiles in a different way, yeah. which was really interesting that we've tried to, on every single expansion, we try to make it so that the map tiles and the, and the actual maps that you create feel very different. So it's not just the same dungeon over and over again. And the last thing that's worth mentioning is the little poison tokens here. The, the yeah. imps uh, can chuck poison spears at you and poison you and hurt you in different ways. Because I mean, look, they're only little, but we wanted to give them something that would make them, you know, yeah. quite dangerous. And of course, that plays into the comics as well. Absolutely. There is that. We don't want to, you know, no spoilers here. 
but you should read the comics. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's that's pretty much everything in the box, isn't it? That's yeah. Although just one last thing, there are loads of imps. We, we I don't know if you fully uh, uh, sort of saw, but there are four of each of the small imps. So they might be small, but you can get overwhelmed by lots of them. Which Absolutely. Is quite a big risk. So yeah. there's like big things and tiny things in this expansion, which has been quite fun as well. So yeah, that is the Wild Hunt expansion for Hellboy the board game. Um, just loads of stuff to jump into. Like let me say, three new case files to play through. Yeah. But also so much that you'll be able to remix with the case file constructor if you've mm -hmm. got it already or if you get your hands on it later. Um, give it a look. If uh, I don't know, why not tell us your favourite bit in the comments below? I can do that. I can I can do calls to action. It's a thing. Yeah. Um, and that's it. We're going to go away now, and maybe we'll unbox some other things another time. <laughs>